Lord, right now, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in my sight. Lord, I ask you to think through my mind, speak through my vocal cords, Lord. Give me what it is you need your people to understand. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Thank God. Amen. Repeat after me. I will open my mind. I will listen to the spoken word. I will read and follow in the written word. I will understand how the word is used and explained. And I will use this word for myself. And I will use this word for myself. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. God is good. God is good. Amen. Amen. I love my people. I've been enjoying the service thus far today. Amen. But we are the most important part of the word. The most important part of the service is the word. Amen. It's the word that we're going to live by. It's the word that's going to keep us. It's the word that the Bible says, it's the word that I have hid in my heart. So that I might not sin against you. Not against the pastor, not against the church. We're not in a relationship for personal, personal relationships. We're in a relationship with God. And so uh, our relationship with God does not go this way. It doesn't go this way. It goes this way. And so that's, that's what we need to continue to remember is that uh, what we do, we do for the Lord. How we live, we live for the Lord. And as we're living for the Lord, it affects then the relationships that we have this way. I'm going to say that again. As we're doing this, this is our goal. But as we're, we're seeking a relationship with the Lord, it then affects this. Amen. If you start out trying to do this, then you'll go, you'll be up here one day, down here the next. One day I'm good, one day I'm, I'm not good. One day I'm happy, one day I'm sad. One day you can say something to me, or the next day you, you better not say nothing to me. That's because I'm trying to live like this. But when I'm living like this and, I, and my relationship to God is important, then that, then, then I'm treating you right, regardless of how you treat me. It doesn't really matter how you treat me, because I'm not doing it for you. You're just getting the benefit of my service to God. All right, that wasn't even my word, but I'm going to I'm just going to start there, amen? Amen. That's important because I, I, I need to know that. Because you know, I, I struggle with, with this too. <laughs> this flash connect to me is, 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 is something else. I, I struggle with that too. And so when I, understand, when I understand why I do what I do, then, 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 then it's easy for me to, to, easier for me to put this under control. I know I do what I do because I love God. Not because I, I love the church or I love the people or I love the church of God in Christ or I love being a pastor or I love him. No, I love God. And he's already said, if you love me, there, there's some things you need to do to show me if you love me. Oh, God. Over the past few weeks, we, we, we've been just dealing with situations. Really because we're dealing with a lot of situations. God bless that one. I would talk to my brother, and he was a star player at Shaw High School. And, 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 he, and he, he was coming to see us. What was your name again? Huh? Robert. I said, star at Shaw High School, now he's at Slippery Rock College. Thank you, man. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming back, man. And thank you for being a good role model. 
and the kids, young men out there, and proving everybody else wrong that all we're doing is shooting and killing. We're not. That's not what all of us are doing. Amen? Amen. 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 Praise God. Brother, come on. And so, we're dealing with a lot of things in our lives. And, and knowing what the Word of God is saying about how we are supposed to deal with certain things and, and what our responses are. And so, I, I want to look in, in Daniel. It, it, it's a, a, a historical account in the Word of God that a lot of us are familiar with, but if you don't mind, I want to spend some time here. Because, as I said, Earlier this year, we wanted to, we, we were dealing with everything, everything we talk about, whether I say it or not, is, is, is dealing with the inner and outer man. It's dealing with who we used to be and who we are. And, and beginning to uh, resist, you know, that old man as the new man and woman, people, when they let women, begin to emerge. I don't know about you, but I, I, I know what I got to I, I know what I got to the point of being tired of me. <laughs> being sick and tired of me. You know, I mean, and, and, and see, only you know when you are sick and tired of yourself. Sick and tired of going through the same thing, sick and tired of feeling the same way, sick and tired of, of feeling like Everything that I'm doing is no use, and it's you know, it's just you know, I get some money and it slips through my fingers, and and it's just just it just never stops. And it's always me, you know. I think it just seems like it's always me, and I can look at the uh, world, seemingly look at people that are not trying to give themselves to the Lord, and and it seems like it's working out perfectly for them. And that's a, that's, a, that's a key. Seems. Seems like. Seems like. Seems like. And so, we have to begin to understand that until we totally give ourselves away to the Lord, we're just going to be sometimes up, sometimes down, almost level to the ground. I got my leg on one side I'm, today. I got my leg on the other side. I'm straddling the fence. You know, sometimes my weight is on the right side. And sometimes my weight is on the wrong side. Well, well, you don't understand that, you know, how you are is how your blessings are going to come. Yeah. I, now, I'm not talking about grace and mercy. Because, you know, he... The Bible says that he, you know, he reigns on the just and the untouched. And so tell them in the Bible study. I said, look, I know I do what I need to do to, to live on the open windows. So I know it's raining on me. Now you want to get a little wet, stand next to me. Because he reigns on the just and on the untouched. But you're just hoping and praying to catch somebody else's thing. If you're not doing what you need to do. And, and, and then, you know, there's mercy and then there's grace. Yes. Mercy is you don't get what you deserve. Yes. And grace is you get what you don't deserve. Yes. So some of us are living on mercy and grace and other folks rank. But that's a way that you, know, you, don't, you, that you can be confident. Look, I know God's going to bless me. I don't know how he's going to bless me, but I know he's going to bless me. Because I'm doing the things that he said is a requirement to be blessed. So let's look at Daniel 3 and 16. The word of God says, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered and said to the king, O Nebuchadnezzar, we are not careful to answer thee in this manner. The key word in here is careful. Was it up there in the yeah. The key word was careful. See, a lot of times we are, uh, as we operate as Christians, we're just, we're just, we're just careful. We're just, we 
we don't want to hurt him by feelings. You know, we're, we're trying to live for the Lord. We know what the Word of God says, but we're just, we just, we just can't. We just, you know, I, 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 I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want to say the wrong thing. I don't want to say the name of Jesus. I don't want to get all get wrong. Uh, and we're, we're just, we're just, yeah, we're just, but here that stand up. When it comes to their faith and when it comes to doing what they believe, as they talk to the highest man in the land, the king, they say, look, 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 king, we, we're not careful. We're not going to say what's politically correct. We're not going to say what you want us to say. We're not going to say what you want to hear. We know what we believe, and we're not going to be careful. Bible even talks about that word careful in Philippians 4 and 6. And Philippians 4 and 6 it says, Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Philippians 4 and 6. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. Look, you can't stop and try to please everybody. If you're trying to live your life according to the word of God, and it is bothering somebody too bad. Because at the end of the day, you're the one that's going to stand before God, and, and, and you can't be like, well, I, well, God, I was going to live right, but I just didn't want to hurt his feelings. I, I just didn't want to hurt his feelings. I mean, I, I didn't want him to think that I did it all. So I, 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 I was just trying to be Go in here with me. 
and all claiming that God is their God. Our God. See, the thing is, you can't talk about, you know, my mama God, my grandma God, my daddy God, you know. If you really not your God, you just, they just took you to church. You don't have a relationship. This is, that's the thing about having a relationship with God. That's what you can say he's mine. He's my God. He's my God. So I'm talking to the devil. I'm talking to the devil, y'all. He's coming at me. He's, he's, he's bringing these situations on me. And I'm saying, look, if it be so, if this is what's happening to me right now, our God, my God, whom we serve. So we go over that.
somebody up the side of the head. I go still a purse. I go. I mean, it's not that I'm okay. No, I get someone. But but you serving God now, and you have to be able to say, no matter how bad it gets, I'll never turn my back on God. <laughs> See, a lot of people. A lot of people do this. And see, in the midst of this now, you have this statement. And, 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 and see, this isn't about abracadabra or focus focus. It, it wasn't about that then, and it's not about that now. And so now they say these words. See, some of us be like, oh, I did it. Yeah. 
long as you're keeping your mouth shut. As long as you don't speak the name of Jesus. As long as you don't stand for look, you you good old boy. Good old guy. Come on around us. You be around us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And we know that they threw them in the fire. At the hottest point of what they were going through. They were delivered while they were in the fire. They weren't delivered out. See, I don't know like, Lord, you know, bring us out of this. Yes. But a lot of times, you're going through so that God can deliver you while you're in. Yes. Yes. So, that you, so that you know that it was God. Yes. So a lot of y'all, you're still in the heat right now. But God said, don't turn your back on me. Don't, try, don't, don't let go of me right now.
Somebody's going to confront you and say, 
church. When you start right, if it's another church, you need to be at a Bible believing church. You need to get the word. You need to open up the word for yourself and you need to apply the word to your life. What you just did is a beginning. It is not an ending. But there's nothing you can do to separate yourself from him. Once you accept him, he's going to hang on to you. He's going to hang on to you. You can push him away. You can try not. You can, you can try do whatever you do. Run back to the world. I guarantee you, it'll never be the same. It'll never be the same. You can do the same thing. They won't feel the same. They won't be the same. Have patience with God. Because God has patience with you. Live each day as though it's your last. Love each day as though it's your last opportunity to love one another. And if you do this, you'll be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. Let's do the Lord man. Sister Dixon for the Father's Day breakfast. 